So what we're going to do today is we are going to do a versus video between the Hilti quarter and checks impact driver versus the uh, the rigid octane quarter and checks impact driver please don't blow up my comments each company does not make the same batteries all right so we are going to use the four amp hour on the hilti because this has 21700 cells we're going to use the three amp hour octane on the rigid all right there is a one amp hour difference but both of these have 21700 cells in them and uh, hilti has a battery a three amp hour battery but it has 18650 cells, at least from what I could see through the vents. The cells are a lot smaller than the 4 amp hour, so that tells me that there are 18650. And so Rigid doesn't make a 4 amp hour battery that's octane, and Hilti doesn't make a 3 amp hour battery that is 21700 cells. So this is actually the best each both of these companies can do when it comes to a comparison. Anything else would just be a little bit, a little bit out there. Let's go over the specs of these really quick and let's see what these could actually do against each other. Alrighty, so first we'll do the rigid. This is model number R R86039, quarter inch X collet, tri -LED, LED beams on the front. And this has a lot of speed settings. It also has a trigger for the lights. And so this has a, a bunch of modes. I still need to do a video on this, but we are going to do use the, the highest mode. This goes to uh, 0 to 700 RPM, 0 to 2100 RPM, and 0 to 3000 RPM. And this has 3900 impacts per minute. All right, for the, for the Hilti, this is model number SID for a uh, 22 For a uh, quad LED beam on the front, the specs are on the base. And yes, I love on how Hilti has their, a separate unit for the battery so it has a little bit more play when it comes to the vibration. This has three speed settings. Uh, the top speed is 0 to 2700. Speed 1 it was 0 to 1000. Speed 2 is 0 to 1500. Speed 3 is 0 to 2700. This does not say the impact uh, impacts or the torque. I'll put the torque in right now. And so yeah, 4 amp hour battery. Push the eject button to see what the battery. Battery is full. And so, yes, quick insert collet. What we're going to do first is we are going to do two eight inch lags each. All right, we will do rigid first. Uh, right here should be good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Let's do one for Hilti. Right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. Time. I do not know the test results until the end of the video. Let's do one more for rigid right here. Up oh, there, little ready, go. Time. I love the uh, LED lights in the front like that because it actually lights up your work area pretty well. I'm not a big huge fan of LED lights on the base because you need a little angle to see what you're doing. Ready? Go. Time. All right, let's take uh, ridges out. One for rigid. Ready? Go. Time. All right, let's do one for Hilti. Ready? Go. Last one for Rigid. Ready? Go. Time. Then the last one for Hilti when it comes to the Timberlocks. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All righty, so we, next we're going to do two, a uh, one six inch lag each. As you can see, they're both the same size. We will do rigid first. Uh, let's see, we'll do right here. No, we'll do right here. 
All right, so ready? Go. time yes that is time put it in right next to it right here is good all right so ready go Up, is it? Alrighty, so Hilti has about a half inch left to go, and it sounds like it's struggling. So let's put the rigid in. Let's see if rigid is able to finish that. Because as you guys, you guys heard it, so Hilti, Hilti started to struggle, and it pretty it did, pretty much did stop. So let's see if rigid can finish it. Time. Hilti, uh, Richard did finish Hilti's lag. So Hilti did struggle on that one. There probably is a knot right there, but Rigid was able to finish it. Uh, let's take Rigid's out. All right, so ready, go. Time. Now let's have uh, Hilti's takes its out. Ready? Go. Time. All right. I do not know the test results until I finish. Uh, until I edit the video. But yeah, uh, Rigid did finish uh, the last. I'd say half inch or a little less of its lag. So the Hilti did pretty much stop. The Rigid was able to finish it though, but but yeah. All right, so next let's actually uh, bust some nuts with these. Alrighty, so after experimenting for a while, because since I have so many tools, this is actually uh, the DeWalt 3 8 inch impact wrench, the DCF 890 was actually the perfect test for impact drivers. Uh, I'm gonna tighten these up. I'm gonna tighten these four up, and uh, two are gonna be for Hilti, and two are gonna be for Rigid, and uh, we'll see which one busts the nut the fastest. Now, uh, so I'm gonna let this run for five seconds, and uh, each one, so it'll be about the same. All right, so let's tighten these up. Alrighty, so we will use the rigid first. Rigid will do its two, then uh, uh, Hilti will do its two. All right, ready? Go. All right, ready? Go. Time. One more. Ready? Go. Time. See, it's a perfect mid. Oh, that that Dewalt. Three eighths is a perfect middle for these, where it's not too much and it's not too little. All right, it's time for Hilti. Ready, go. Time. Ready, go. Oh, 
trouble. He's having trouble with this one. There we go. I got it. And I broke the weld. Alrighty, so when it comes to these two, these two seem to be uh, pretty much equally matched. Although Rigid did finish the lag, the six inch lag for the Hilti. I'm pretty sure if I pushed the Hilti a little bit more, it would have, but Rigid didn't need to be pushed to finish that uh, half inch or a little less than a half inch. It actually did it immediately. And so, uh, but yeah, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video, but in my honest opinion, I'd still go for the Hilti because the Hilti is well known for their quality of the tool. They're not known for their power, they're just known for their absolute quality of the tools. And so I would still choose the Hilti over the Rigid. I would. And so, yeah, so uh, I know it was a little it was a little unfair that uh, it was 3 amp hour versus 4 amp hour, but both of these had 20, 21,700 cells in them. And as you can see, there is a bit of a size difference between these two. The Rigid is actually bigger than the Hilti is. And so, yeah, the Hilti is a little bit more compact. And it's a little quieter, you know, the uh, Hilt uh, Rigid does have like that whining sound, you know, and so, yeah. But uh, I would still choose the uh, the Hilti over the, over the Rigid. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.